Ex-Derry boss Rory Gallagher's lawyer says he fully intends to return to management. Gallagher has written, via his legal representatives, to the Derry County Board to outline his position in relation to a return. Rory Gallagher fully intends on returning to Intercounty Management, a solicitor for the former Derry, Donegal and Fermanagh manager has confirmed in an interview with the Irish News. Speaking to the newspaper's security correspondent, Conor Young, Dara Mackin of Phoenix Law stated that there is no legal barrier to our client returning to Intercounty GAA management. Indeed, our client fully intends to return to Intercounty management in the near future. The article also reveals that Gallagher has written, via his legal representatives, to the Derry County Board to outline his position in relation to a return. Gallagher initially stepped back, initially from the Derry job on the eve of the 2023 Ulster final, explaining his reasons were born out of a desire to protect my children from the ongoing turmoil, following allegations of domestic abuse by his ex-wife Nicola on social media. He formally stepped down two days later but has been linked to a return ever since. Gallagher was arrested in October 2021. The Public Prosecution Service, PPS, received two investigation files from the PSNI in January 2022 and June 2022. After the available evidence was considered, decisions not to prosecute any individual were issued in January 2022 and September 2022. Subsequently, Ulster Council established a review to examine the GAA's response to adult safeguarding practice. Gallagher was temporarily debarred by Ulster officials while it continued with the review. In February, the DRA lifted the ban. There is no legal impediment to our client undertaking or accepting a role as a GAA senior football manager, the solicitor is quoted as saying in the article. The DRA found, amongst other things, that Ulster GAA were incorrect in their decision to disbar Mr Gallagher. Therefore, put simply, there is no legal barrier to our client returning to Intercounty GAA management. Indeed, our client fully intends to return to Intercounty management in the near future. Crucially, he has engaged with all criminal investigations and answered all questions posed to him by the police, he said. At all stages of this process, our client has firmly and steadfastly denied his guilt and refuted all the allegations leveled against him. Two separate investigations have led, rightly, to decisions by the PPS not to prosecute. Mr Gallagher has not been charged with a single offence. Gallagher has returned to coaching with Monaghan Club, Corduff but his name has never been far away from the conversation around the dairy job. It is 11 weeks since Mickey Hart stepped down from that role, with only Derry, Westmeath and Clare yet to make their managerial appointments for 2025. Any decision to appoint our client in any role within the GAA should be exercised in accordance with the rule of law and due process, Mr Mackin said. Decision making must be made lawfully and should never be contaminated by irrelevant social media opinion or comment. The GAA has long upheld principles of fairness and equality, ensuring that every individual is assessed based on their merits and contribution to the sport. Regrettably, given continued trial by social media, our client, after consultation with his three young children, has had no alternative but to make the instant details public, he added. Put simply, our client has engaged with every process available to him to address the allegations made, and to overcome what has been an incredibly challenging period for his family. In doing so, he has been exonerated on two separate occasions by the prosecutorial authorities, his disbarment has been overturned by the DRA, and he continues to care for his children on a full-time basis.